You like it? Yeah. Was that a good prize? I'm going to there's a, there's a, this thing. This work. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, oh, today's been pretty stressful already. I took Bradley to school and then Reagan had a dentist appointment. She did have a cavity, so she had to get her first filling. And, you know, we knew that going there, um, that she was getting a crown on her fill. Well, they didn't fill it. They put a crown on it. But I just want to talk to you a little about that experience. I got a little clip of her. But they did have to give her a mild sedative. Um, it was like an anesthetic, but... It doesn't put you to sleep. It just makes you sleepy. Um, but it didn't seem to make her sleepy. It made her a little more hyper. Um, but she took it. I was really nervous about that. She spit a lot of it out. Some of it got on me and all over her. So she didn't get all of it, but she got most of it. And they gave her some Tylenol. And then they waited 10 minutes and took her back. Now... I wasn't made aware that I was not allowed back there with her, so I went back there with her, and they restrained her. They strapped her to the table. She is only four. Um, I was back there for that, and I was, like, comforting her, and I was like, Mommy's here. I'm not going to leave you, da, da 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 Well, I had no idea that I wasn't allowed to stay back there, so um, I'm up here lying to her saying, I'm not going to leave you. So when the dentist came in, they're like, okay, y'all have to, me and Wes were both there. And they're like, okay, you got to go to the waiting room. And I'm like, I'm not leaving my four-year-old while she's screaming and crying and terrified. <sighs> and they pretty much told me they weren't going to do the procedure unless we left the room. So we had to go to the waiting room and we could hear her screaming the entire time. Uh, the procedure only took about 20 minutes. Um, they numbed her, which we heard the, her, them give her the shot, um, or the injection, and, um, then I guess they cleaned the tooth, they did the crown, and then they did two sealants, which is just like painting on another tooth to prevent further cavities, and, um, she screamed the whole time and it was awful like the worst 20 minutes of my life I felt so bad for leaving her it was terrible but she came out we hugged her we told her we were so proud of her and she was so brave and we they gave her a few prizes and we paid and then I took her to the store and got her this our generator she had wanted this it was like $60 at bargain hunt it's normally $100 at like Target and she had been wanting it, so I took her and got her a big prize because she was such a big girl. And, oh my gosh, it was just, it was very traumatic for all of us. I was not ready. Um, it was rough, but she did well with everything. And from the screaming, from all the screaming she did, she, I, I'm guessing it's like busted blood vessels? I don't know, but she had little red dots all over her body. And it wasn't like calves, but it looked like little... Tiny busted blood vessels. So I just felt so bad. But she did really good. Now I'm just trying to keep her from biting her tongue. She's happily playing with her new toy over there. But I just felt awful. Have any of you other mamas been through that? Like it was the worst. Um, I just was not even ready for all that today. And now I just want to snuggle her the rest of the day. And I just feel so bad for leaving her because I told her I wouldn't. And um you know, I don't know if I've mentioned this in other vlogs, but she's already been scared. Like, since I took her out of pre-K, anytime I leave the room when I'm at home, like, to go to the bathroom or just to walk in the kitchen and get something, she kind of freaks out, and she does not like to be alone. So, I feel even worse, and that's probably not going to help us with that. And now she's really going to be afraid I'm going to leave her, and I just feel like a really bad mama that I left her, and... I always said I would never do that, but I felt like I had to. Like, I didn't really have another option um, at the time. So, it was just, it's been a rough morning already. Like, I'm already done with this day. 
Um, yeah, not fun at all. But, and another thing, like, I asked for prayers for her and myself before, you know, the procedure. And I know that's not, like, the biggest deal. It's not, like, a major surgery or anything, but it still makes me nervous. Like, I have anxiety and panic attacks, and it just makes me nervous. And, like, I don't want people to think, oh, my gosh, she's four. She's already got a cavity and needs two sealants. I brushed my teeth religiously since I was a kid because I hated going to the dentist. I didn't want cavities, but I still got a lot of cavities. Some people are just more prone to them. It all depends on the crevices, how your crevices are in your teeth. Um, some people have more enamel than others, and some people just have softer teeth and are just more prone to cavities. So I've had a couple comments, well, you know, this will encourage her to brush better. Well, she's only four. I've been in charge of all the teeth brushing up until this point. And I make sure she brushes her teeth every day, multiple times a day. And, you know, I'm doing the best I can, you know, and I stay on top of it. But her and Bradley still both have a cavity. You know, she does eat a lot of candy, probably way more than she should. And she drinks tea and soda and that's probably not helping either so we're gonna have to try to cut back on that I'm sure but you know some kids are just more prone to cavities it's not because they're not brushing it's just the way it is and then sometimes your teeth are really close together and it's just hard to get it you know some people are just more prone to cavities so anyway that's my little rant about that but just because a kid has a lot of cavities doesn't necessarily mean that they're not brushing well. It's just some are more prone to them, and it sucks, but that's just the way it is. But Anyway, I'm going to go snuggle her and give her lots of extra love and attention today because I feel so bad. But um, she did really good. She was so brave, and I'm so proud of her. I just hope she's not terrified to go back to the from now on. Um, which she probably will be, but what do you do? Um, so yeah, that's how my day's going. I just wanted to let y'all know how that went. It was pretty scary. I'll insert the clips here of her, like, right after she took the medicine and then when they strapped her down. But I didn't get any more than that because we couldn't be in the room. But anyway, if anyone else is going through that, I just prayed my way through it. It took about 20 minutes total. Longest 20 minutes of my life. But... She's here. She's fine. <sighs> it was dramatic, but I think she's going to be okay. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. What you doing over there? How you feeling? I'm sleepy. Sleepy. Feel good? Are you happy? He's in there. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. You got a dinner Santa Claus? Yeah. I don't want anybody taking this table off. <laughs> Cute. They take the table Do you have any questions about anything?